Hello everyone. Now in this particular video, we are going to discuss this question. Again, it's a previous care question from CSE branch, but this question is based on depth first search. In the previous video, we have discussed breadth first search, but this video now we'll discuss depth first search. So consider the following sequence of a nodes for the undirected graph given below. So this is the sequence, this is the graph. The depth first search is started at a node A. So node A is our root node here. Okay, already given. The nodes are listed in the order they are first visited. Okay, which all of the above is our possible output. So out of these four, which one is correct? We need to find out. So we need to apply DFS, that is depth first search, which works on stack. Okay, last in first out principle. Now let's go through one by one. So here I have a root node A, 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 A. Okay. So let's consider one stack here. So I will add A. From A, where I can go? From A, I can go to B or I can go to D. In the case of stack, you need to add only that particular node that you are going to visit. So in this case, either B or either D. So, if you observe in 1 and 2, we have B. In 3 and 4, we have D. So, let's go for B first, right? So, I can go for any, any of the node, but I'm going for B like this. So, now B in the stack. Now, from B, where I can go? From B, I can go to C, I can go to E, I can go to D, and also I can go to A. But A is already in the stack and already visited. A, then uh, B like this. But from B, I can go to C, E, D. So, which node I have to explore? Let's see the option. After B, I need to go for E. Because in this, because in this question, we don't need to find out the order. We need to find out which one is correct order. Right? So, just use these particular options. So, after B, I can go for E. So, I will add E in the stack. Okay? So, from E, where I can go? I can go to B. I can go to D, C, F and G. Right, but B is already in the stack. So here you can see the option. Again, I need to go to F here only. In both the case, F is there. So let's go for F. F. Then from F, where I can go? I can go to C and I can go to G. Okay. So let's see. From F, I, I can go to C. From F, I can go to D. No, this is not correct. From F, either I can go to C or G. And E is already visited. The only nodes I can go from F is either C or G. So here D, we cannot visit D directly because there is no H. So option, this particular thing is not correct. So one is not correct. If one is not correct, it means that I can easily eliminate these two options. Right? See, the question looks dif difficult, but it is easy. Right? So just solving this particular thing, I can remove these two options. Right? That's it. So, if you observe, this one is not correct. So, it, anyway, option A and D cannot be correct. Right? I hope you understand this particular thing. Now, let's complete this particular uh, order. So, I am at node F. From F, I am going to C now. Let's say C. Right? C. From C, where I can go? I can go to B. I can go to F. I can go to E. But B, E, F is already inside the queue. And I don't have any other node to explore. So I will pop that particular C out. Okay. So I have removed C from the stack. Now my next element is F. From F, I, from F, I can go to C, E, and G. So C and E. So C is already popped out, already visited. E is already inside the stack. So let's take F out and explore. And I observe that G is remaining. So I will add F in the stack. And after F, I am going to explore G. Right? Now from G, where I can go? I can go to E, F and D. But E and F is already inside the stack. And I can go to D only. So I will add D inside the stack. Right? Like this. Like this. Now from D, where I can go? A, B, E, G. All the, all the nodes are in the stack. I don't have any other extra node here. So I will take D, I will explore, I don't have any other node to uh, go, I will remove from the stack. Then I will take next element G, from G I can go to D, E, F, so already explored, I don't have any other new node to 
I'll go. I will remove G from the stack. <laughs> Next element will be F. From F, I can go to C, E, G. So already explore, and I cannot have, and I don't have any other new node, right? So I will remove F from the stack. The next element will be E. From E, I can go to B, C, D, F. But if you observe already, uh, we have explored C, G, and D, right? So here you can see already we have explored uh, this thing from E. B, C, D, and F. So already all the nodes are covered. I don't have any other node to explore. So I will remove E. The next element is B. From B, I can go to A, C, D, E, D. But all the nodes are explored here, right? So I have need. So I don't have any other new node to explore. So I will remove B from the stack. Then I have A. From A, I can go to B and D. But already both are explored, right? So I don't have any other new new node here. Then in that case, my stack will become empty and here I will stop the algorithm. Okay. So in this way, I will get this particular order. So this is, so this thing is correct. Okay. And if I have one more thing here, for example, Z. So after popping out A, from A, I can go to Z. Then I can go to Z like this. Okay. So that's why we require stack to follow a depth first search. So in the case of depth first search, that's why we use this stack data structure so that we can go to a deepest node and if any child any children is not available we will traverse back and how we can traverse back by using a stack data structure okay i hope this thing is clear so we have already discussed this and this now let's discuss about this particular thing three and four right now let's consider one more a stack here now Again, my root node is same A. I will add A. But from A, I can go to B and D. So, in the first case, I already visited B first. Now, let's say I want to visit D. So, I have already added D in the stack. From D, I can go to E, G because A and B is already inside the stack. So, right. So, from D, I can go to B and E and G also. B, E, G also, right. So, which node I have to go? A, D, uh, G or B. So here I have two options. I can go for G. I can go for B also. Right. So let's first discuss this particular thing. G. So B, D, G. So I have added G. So from G, I can go to E. I can go to D. Right. So it is. So this is A, D, G. And from G, I can go to D, E, F. But D already explore right so we need to add e or f but if you observe i am going for e that is correct so i am going for e from e i can go to b c f or g right so from e i can go to b c f so which node i need to explore uh, b that is also correct i am exploring b from b i can go to a d e c so a d e already inside the stack only limit only element is c so if you observe after B, I have C, right? Now we'll explore C. From C, I can go to B, E, F. B, E is already inside the stack. So I add F now, right? So this particular sequence is correct. So 2 and 3 are correct. So 2, 3 and 2, 3 already correct, right? If you observe, I don't need to go for this particular uh, case also. Because I know A and D are incorrect option, only left with B and C. Right, so 2, 3, 2, 3 already present. I just need to check for 4. That's it, right? So, anyway, we have discussed this particular thing. I hope you understand how we got this particular order. Then, same thing, take F out. See, I can have just see whether I can explore any other node. C, E, G already inside the stack, already explored. I will remove F. Then, then take C outside. From C, can I go any other node? B, E, F, but B, E, F already explore, remove. What about B? A, D, E, C. So A, D, E, C already explore, remove B. What about E? B, D, e, G, F, C. I don't have any other new node to explore, remove E. What about G? From G, I can go to uh, D, F, but both the nodes are already explored, remove G, remove D, right? From D, I can go to A, B, E, but already A, uh, B, E already explored. I don't have new node. Remove D and then remove A because I don't have any other node. So then the algorithm will stop because stack is empty. And in this way, you will get uh, this particular thing correct. 
Now, what about this particular thing? Four, right? So, same thing, same explanation. First, I am at node A. From A, I am going to D. That is correct. From D, I can go to E and G, right? From D, I can go to B, E, G. So, in the previous case, we went for G. Now, let's go for B. B. From B, I can go to C, E, A, D. But A, D already inside the stack. I can go for E and C. And here from B, I can go to C. That is correct. Let's go for C. From C, I can go to E, F and B. But here you can see G is there. So, I cannot visit G after C. I can only visit B, C. I can only visit E and F after C. I cannot visit I cannot visit G after C, right? Directly. So, this is not correct here. Either F or either E should be present. So, that's why this particular thing, option 4 is not correct. So, this is not correct. So, only left with option number B. So, option B is the correct option here. Okay. I hope you understand this particular example and how we are using this stack. This thing is important. Okay. How we are exploring this particular graph by using a stack that is important in this case. Okay. So, this type of question you can expect in gate exam. So, in the previous video, I discussed uh, this question based on BFS. And this was the homework for you. You need to apply a DFS and tell me the answer for this. So, similarly, in this question also, one homework question is there for you. Homework exercise. So, use instead of DFS, use BFS to this particular graph and tell me how many nodes are possible. How many order? or sequence are possible okay are possible and list all of them and list all of them so you need to find out all the possible sequence and you need to list all of them by using bfs and for this particular graph and the node will be a only okay so start with a and tell me how many different sequence are possible so that's it from this particular video. I hope you understand the working of this particular example. Thank you.